Our first talk this morning is Gonzalo Tornaria on uh, Stark Hagner points and the Shimura correspondence. So, uh, so I want to thank the organizers of this workshop and today for the support. about numeric correspondence. And uh, in particular, Conan's formula. For central values of twisted and series. Uh, then the second one is the uh, added families. Third is uh, central derivatives of L series. And then the last section is going to be about uh, uh, Stark Hinger points, Stark Hinger points. Thank you. 
times q to the d, where d is, where minus d is congruent to 0 or 1 mod 4. So in a sense, uh, uh, modular form is in a, a condensed subspace if, if the coefficients are indexed by uh, negative discriminants. Okay, so um, so we have a, a, a Hecke action on, on, on both uh, uh, integral weight modular forms. So this is, we have Hecke operators T sub L for prime L acting on this space. And on, on the space of modular forms of half integral weight, we don't have uh, Hecke operators of, of index L, but of index L squared. So we have T L squared at the space. Let's say for L not dividing to N. So um, then we have this, this theorem. Uh, say of uh, Shimura and Kahnen says that um, there is actually a, a, a correspondence between these two spaces, uh, which is a, actually a bijection between the, the eigen spaces in this space. So F in Let's say it's new. Then uh, an eigen form for the Hecke operators <coughs> is if even weight. It corresponds one to one with uh, G So the correspondence is just that the, the, the eigenvalues match. So if, uh, let's say, f is normalized, so d l f is a sub l f, then t l squared g is a sub l. So the same eigenvalues. So that's Schimmer correspondence, which in, in, in this particular case is, is very simple. Right? It's one to one. And there we're using the uh, n is square free. Um, so Conan's formula then relates the uh, Coefficients of, of, uh, of G with the central values of uh, L, L series that, that uh, are associated to F, namely the twisted by quadratic characters, F twisted by quadratic characters. So, completely, the formula is uh, this. Uh, this so she is. Here and uh, so Conan's formula gives a formula so this. So for some d's, the square of the coefficient 
is uh, some constant uh, times d to the k minus 1 over 2 times the special value of uh, f twisted by minus d that's, uh, at the center. So uh, this just means uh, take the model from f and twist by quadratic character of conductor d. This is Wells Pluchet, yeah. But Kahn is before Wells Pluchet, I guess. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, this is. Wells Pluchet is more general. Mm -hmm. But in other, in other sense, this is more explicit. In the sense that. So this. Tells you what, what's this constant? This constant depends on, on G, of course. Yeah, because uh, yeah, well, it depends on the Peterson norm of G. So you get some homogeneous equation. So G is uh, the, the, the Shimura correspondence is not well defined. I mean, it's well defined only in, in Hagen spaces. So but it's like, does it come uh, hmm? from uh, does this version of the correspondence that you wrote? Come from a more general like, theta correspondence. Uh, isn't it like sort of a theta correspondence that uh, the correspondence that you wrote on the board? Uh, a metaplectic forms of the metaplectic group. Or, in, yeah. Yeah. Sort of an explicit expression of. Nice. Actually, what what you were proves is that if you if, if you if you take a, a modular form of half integral weight, any modular form of half integral weight, then the eigenvalues are are actually eigenvalues of the modular form of integral weight. So just by uh, I guess by uh, proving that the the L series satisfies enough uh, functional equations. Or something. So, but, uh, okay, so a common formula is not for all these it's just for these. This is provided uh, uh, the quadratic symbol minus TL equals WL for all L dividing the level, where WL is the, uh, the eigenvalue for the Atkin layer, for the action of the Atkin layer. And uh, otherwise, it's zero. Okay. So, in a sense, uh, one, one can think that uh, Conan's formula, or via Conan's formula, uh, knowing a Chimura leaf, uh, Chimura correspondent uh, of F, knowing G, gives, gives us information on, on, on a, some subset of. Uh, Special central twisted twisted central values, uh, but it's only for uh, one over two to the t. This is information about one over two to the t central values, where t is the number of primes dividing n. Where here I mean, uh, there's actually <coughs> one over two to the t plus one classes of discriminants because you have to take into account the positive and negative. I mean, you also could care about positive discriminants. So there's one over two to the t plus one classes of discriminants, uh, say prime to n, but but then half of them have a minus sign in the functional equation, so you actually get zero. So this is really giving information about one over two to the t, uh, the, the fraction of central values. So, um, what, what is t? Hmm? What is t? Just the number of, of oh, there are primes the dividing n. Okay. So since he, here you're, you're, you're uh, having a, a quadratic uh, choice for each prime dividing n. So 
your discriminant split in two. The, the square small l and the non-square small l. Then the same. And then the, 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 this equation works for, for one class but not for the other. But then, uh, you know, if you have several primes divided in n, uh, I mean, you, you can have uh, different local signs and still have a global sign that is plus one, so it still makes sense to ask about the, the central value. So, so do you mean t over t or one over t? I mean, uh, I mean, one over two to the t. The, the, that's the fraction of discriminants for which we can get information in this form. That's what I mean. So, an, an interesting thing to note here is that um, since g is, is actually unique up to up to a constant, this formula is actually uh, sort of choosing a. a, a con sort of canonical square root of, uh, of the central value of, of, of the L series, which is uh, this coefficient. I mean, up to a global sign, if you want. So for instance, a particular instance of this is, um, so if, if f corresponds to, say, an elliptic curve over q, so weights 2, um, and uh, if we have two discriminants, say uh, d1 and d2, so the corresponding coefficients are, are not zero. So, and uh, well, d's that, that satisfy all these conditions, so that you can actually uh, conclude that the, the, the twisted uh, uh, central values are not are, are not zero. So the, the elliptic curve has rank zero and so on. So you actually get, uh, if you, um, you actually get from, from Beach and Day, you get uh, something like this. Uh, the quotient of these two uh, numbers is, some, is a square root of the quotient of uh, the, the order of the uh, Schaeffer average state groups of uh, of the elliptic curve twisted by d1 versus twisted by d2. But the, the point to make here is that uh, this this is actually choosing a sign. So there's there's some canonical sign that, uh, for for the square root. Of this uh, number. So do you know for this the chair is finite? Or, uh? Yeah, because uh, since uh, oh, uh, yes, I because the value. Value. it's yeah, yeah, zero. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the L value is uh, Yeah, it's, okay. it's rank zero. It's analytic rank zero yeah, yeah. because of this, so it yes. works. Yes. So just this this is somehow a mysterious sign that, that well, uh, it must have some meaning, but uh, we don't know. So the um, so in a sense, uh, what this formula is, is giving us is is is, is telling us that, that the the Shimura correspondence or, or, or having the, the modular form of weight of half integral weight. Is, 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 is in a sense a way to sort of package all, all the information about square roots of, of central values. So, uh, so one could ask, uh, well, can, can, I, can I do the same for, uh, say, other discriminants than, than these, the, 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 the rest of, of the discriminants? And also, uh, can I? Can I do something about uh, derivatives uh, because uh, okay, actually, if, if you, if you, if you uh, take into account all discriminants, then half of the discriminants have a have a positive sign in the functional equation, and, and the other half has have a negative sign in the functional equation. So 
you might wonder, well, can I patch some sort of information for, for one or for the other? Stuff like that. So uh, that's a question. That, uh, try to, this talk is trying to say something about that. So, okay, so the, so the second section was about the attic families. So I'm only going to recall briefly what a chaotic family of a modular form is and, and say something about uh, uh, the, how this uh, interacts with the Shimura correspondence. So um, the attic family of modular forms is just some sort of, uh, you can think of it as sort of formally as a, a modular form uh, of uh, K Q to the N. So some form of something like this where the A N of K's are um, uh, uh, piadic analytic functions. the weight. Um, and such that when you specialize these to uh, positive integers, you get modular forms of, of that weight. So such that uh, yeah, such that fk is a modular form of uh, weight k level n. Uh, for all k uh, in, uh, well, I guess, in uh, positive integers, in intersections of maybe. So these this, uh, are defined in some, in some uh, uh, neighborhood of, well, so, so they don't have to be defined for all k, but some region. Okay. So and uh, well, and, uh, and then usually you normalize this so that a one of k is is identically one. So you normalize all, all of them. So for instance, so classical examples are uh, Einstein series. So examples. with the, the factor of p removed and this is uh, these are uh, some of devices but you, you, you remove the uh, thing that are uh, devices that are divisible like p so, so uh, and then this is uh, this can be extended to the, uh, to a piadic family uh, and uh, uh, the other classical example is uh, is, uh, is in uh, Hecke characters you can actually so for a quadratic field blah 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 you do you take a, a Hecke character and uh, take the power to k minus one so you get So you, you sum over all ideals. 